Hello, welcome to Any Questions Answered. I'm Ross Exton and I'm here to answer the questions that you asked last month here in At Bristol. Our first question comes from Daisy, who's 14 from Hereford. When lightning strikes the sea, why don't all the fish die? The first thing we need to understand is that different materials can or can't conduct electricity. Air cannot conduct electricity, but during a storm, the very large voltage between the negatively charged cloud and the positively charged ground causes the air between to break down along a very narrow path, and all of the lightning and electricity passes down this path. And if you are unlucky enough to be in that path, then you will be struck by the lightning. Seawater conducts electricity. So when lightning strikes the sea, which happens all the time, why doesn't the electricity spread through the water, electrocuting all of the fish? Well, when the lightning strikes the sea, the current spreads out in all directions, making it very small, which means all of the fish are quite safe. Our second question is a big one, and it comes from Danielle, who's 10 from Wither. What came first, the chicken, or the egg. Now let me answer this once and for all. The egg came way, way, way before the chicken. Since birds, and therefore chickens, evolved from egg-laying reptiles, then eggs were around a very long time before chickens. But what about the very first chicken? Well, that chicken must have descended from a chicken-like animal. That chicken-like animal would have laid an egg which contains an embryo with a genetic mutation which would have made it into what we could define as a chicken today. And from that egg came the very first chicken. If there's anything you want the answer to in the next AQA, then let us know in the comments section below. You can write to us on Facebook or Twitter, or why not visit us and write on our wall. Thank you very much for watching, and remember, keep asking questions.